What's going on everyone out there on the internet? Chris Orm here. Welcome to my Smart Home Tour 2022. There's no better place to start than outside of my home, so let's have Siri open our garage door. Hey Siri, open the garage door. And it's just like that, let's get started. So once we enter through the garage door, we're first greeted by our motion sensor that turns on the lights within the kitchen. I want to call out that this is a rented home, so there are no modifications done to the light switches. These are all done using smart bulbs rather than smart switches. I wish I could use smart switches, but that's not the case and we've made accommodations. So if you follow me over this way, I'll point out two Philips Hue accessories that I have. First one being motion sensor that detects people as they enter the kitchen as well as as they enter the garage door. As well, I have my Philips Hue dimmer switch which turns on the lights, raises the brightness, lowers the brightness, and can turn them off. So above head, I have four Philips Hue overhead lights. Um, they are smart bulbs, they are RGB. I can show you guys a little bit more about that. But those are the main features of the kitchen and my smart home. So the next aspect to my smart home, which is a really big powerhouse, is the Acara G2H camera. This records people as they enter and exit the home with full video recording based on Apple HomeKit Secure Video. As well, this powers all of my Acara child devices, such as water leak sensors, motion sensors, door and window sensors, and more. It accepts up to many, many child devices and I couldn't even reach the capability and capacity for what the Acara G2H can offer. It's a great price, it's a great camera, it's a great accessory and I couldn't recommend it enough. All right, so moving on to the living room. In the living room, we have many, many smart home features that I can control all from this button. This one button, the Acara button, can control five different aspects to my smart home. So if I push it once, we have the lights go on, we have the TV go on, we have the accent lighting go on behind the TV and the couch. So let's talk a little bit more about what's going on with the lights over here. So to control my normal lamps, I have the TP-Link smart plugs that are used to control an Apple HomeKit. So that's both of these lights. They turn the dumb lights into smart lights. As well, behind the couch for accent lighting, I have the Onvis Chameleon light strip, which is an addressable light strip, and I absolutely love it. As well, I have an Android TV over here. The Android TV can be, used, can, can be controlled via my voice, via the app, as well as via remote. Behind that, I have a Philips Hue Play Bar, which gives accent lighting to the whole setup. As well, Here's my Eufy pan and tilt camera that keeps my home secure when I'm not home and can monitor both of my entryways um, accordingly so I can always have a good idea what's going on in my home. As well, the button can turn off all of these five accessories by a quick double press. So let me show you that. And it all turns off. That's the power of smart homes. Let me show you guys the whole brains behind the smart home. And that is the HomePod Mini. The HomePod Mini is a $99 device that can control your entire Apple smart home. Not only is it a smart speaker, but it acts as a hub for the Apple Home app. I can control so many things via my voice because of the Apple HomePod Mini, and I absolutely love it. While I only have one HomePod Mini, I hope to get more on the next release of the HomePod, but they're absolutely wonderful and can control every aspect of my smart home. So moving on from the living room, we enter my wing of the house. So. I'll quickly show you the hallway. My apologies for the echo, but here we have the Echo B, no pun intended, smart thermostat which controls my home. So obviously we're living in a hot summer climate right now, so I gotta keep the house cool to about 73 degrees. That's where I like it. The best part about the Echo B smart thermostat is that I can control it via my phone. So if I go out of town and I know I'm coming back, I can quickly adjust the temperature on the fly and I can create automations around it so I can not only save time, but I can save money along the way. If you want to follow me in, enter my office. This is the smart home studio, as I like to call it. So we got my full setup in the background. Behind my monitor, we have a Philips Hue accent light. That is the Hue Play. 
As well, we have the Govi Aura, which is my table lamp. As well, let's pan on over here. These are the brains of the home child. These are my accessories. So I got a Eufy doorbell I need to install. I got my modem, my Apple Airport Extreme, which we're gonna upgrade very soon. We have the Philips Hue bridge, which is required for any Philips Hue accessories, as well as I have my Hoobs box, which is home bridge out of the box. And that allows me to use different types of accessories that are not natively supported within HomeKit within my Apple Smart Home. So let's head on over to my room and I'll show you where the magic happens. All right, so now let's enter my room. My house is controlled by both Amazon as well as Apple. So here I have my Echo Dot, which you know is a smart speaker. I can control many aspects to my smart home, etc. As well, we have a Philips Go light behind there just to add ambiance to the room. And then here's where I control my lights from mainly. As I mentioned earlier, we have no smart switches, only smart light bulbs. So the Eve button helps me control the lights within my room. So give it one press. And we have the overhead lights turn on as well as my nightstand lights. But let me tell you more about my favorite accent lighting within my home. So here we are with my favorite ambient light within my smart home, the Govi Glide Hexes. These are some of the newest lights to my smart home and I absolutely love them. They add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of excitement, and they're very, very unique. We have 10 hexagons here. They light up perfectly. They give glow and illumination to the room and I absolutely love them. I couldn't recommend them enough. Thank you guys so much for watching this smart home tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave all of the product links in the video description so you can purchase some for yourself. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I gave you some inspiration for your smart home. I really appreciate you guys coming to rock with me today. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.